right, so we're building the whelping box for Coco. Say hello, Coco. Say hi. Hi, everybody. She's going to have a baby. As you can see, she's got a nice big belly. With you. She's got some milkers coming in. So this is, this is our Coco Pebbles. And this is our whelping box. <laughs> And our whelping box is made out of a four foot by eight foot piece of plywood. And you want to get a nice piece of plywood, um, sort of a, a, a better grade where it's sanded on smooth on one side. And um, you want to get uh, probably a half, half an inch or three quarters of an inch. Um, and you want to get that four by eight foot cut in half. So you have an, uh, an exactly equal four foot by four foot base and you want to take the other four foot by four foot and you want to cut it into three equal sections which will make the left side, the back side, and the right side. Then you want to get a 12 by a 1 by 12 foot uh, which is right there in the front and cut it like the back one a little shorter than the other two sides so that the both sides will go go together flush uh, all right and it's upside down right now and my husband has um, screwed on some two by fours that were cut on the corners and the center and this is to raise it up off the floor um, and so that it'll stay warm underneath and not get so cold. So now we're just putting finishing nails along the sides. Got nails. Just I can't see it, baby. You can zoom in. finishing up right now and if you look inside here turn on the kitchen light um, if you look inside here we've got about how big are these it's a two by four that my husband cut good job and we're looking at the bottom now and the reason for that um, and we're screwing in from the top we're screwing them in is that's going to be for the pig rail. For the pig rail what we did was we got two inch PVC white piping and we're going to go ahead and glue them together in a square and then they can just rest on there and that way when we're cleaning we can take them out. We like the inside of our whelping box with um, vinyl tile which is very inexpensive I think we paid 80 cents or 60 cents per tile and it took 27 or 28 tiles and this, so this was pretty inexpensive. Um, my husband also screwed in these at the very um, the back of the whelping box on the top to make sure that the corners were uh, held together. But as you can see the front of the whelping box is shorter so that Coco Pebbles can jump out when she needs to. We're going to go ahead and screw in some more supports on the back. So that's why we have it on the side right now, because right, we noticed when we were turned it over that it was too wobbly for um, our dog to support. All right, there you go. Hey, Coco, get back in. Get back in there. No, she'll jump over if it does. Look, get back in. Oh, good girl. You, most dogs jump over it. Hi, Coco. Sit down. 
So we just put, these are a bunch of the blankets that we're going to have in on a regular basis. We'll be using towels when she gives birth. But these are the towels, or the blankets that we're going to take pictures of the pups on. And, and so we put them all in the box so for the next couple weeks she can get her smell on them and she feels very comfortable and at home. So that's the whelping box. Go ahead, call her in. Lay down. Sit. Sit, Sit Coco. Sit. Shake. Shake. Sit, Coco. Shake. Don't feed her anything. Shake. Shake. Bark. Bark, Coco. Coco. She's looking at what you're eating, my love. Bark. And Reese, Reese's going, what is going on? Where's my bed? That's for your wife. <laughs> Reese. Move, Jared. No, no, this is the welcoming bed. Beautiful dog, Coco. It's just beautiful. Oh, your comfy's in there. Are you comfy in there? Come on, come on. So the reason, uh, so last thing for the whelping box is the pig rail. And the pig rail are, is um, uh, two inch PVC piping, white, because it's, you can see yeah, that it's clean. And um, what are those elbows? Elbows in all the corners. And then my husband just cut them to fit. We made sure that there was a little bit of room here so that the puppies could go underneath. And that way when the mom lays up against the side, the puppies can go underneath and not get smothered. So that's it, that's the whelping box.